Hello. <laughs> um, so the other day, I was in a dive bar, shocker. Um, and when I went to the bathroom, there was only one piece of graffiti scrolled across the wall. Stoked. And so when I sat down, I was just thinking and thinking, what the hell is she so stoked about? Did she have to pee really bad? Was she jacked up on Molly? Or was she just really glad that she doesn't live in North Carolina so she can be, go pee wherever she pleases? But really what I thought about was how I just wish I could get that excited about anything. <sighs> but I can't because I'm a depressive. <laughs> so my obsession with the Holocaust began at about third grade. <laughs> um, the only thing on my Christmas list was the Diary of Anne Frank. As a white Christian girl in rural America, I really identified to her sense of imprisonment. <laughs> By fifth grade, I really wanted to fit in. So I wrote a 50-page story about girls hiding from the Nazis and decided to read it out loud to my fifth grade class. My fifth grade teacher was even afraid of me after that. By high school, it just became a coping mechanism. Um, if you think your problems are bad, just pop on some genocide. Doesn't seem so bad. Tim Paul doesn't like me, he likes Kaylee. Watch Schindler's List. Don't make the varsity team, watch all eight hours of Shoah. <laughs> Don't get into to Williams College, just read This Way to the Gas, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> but for some reason, my depression wasn't lessening. Um, <laughs> so <laughs> I had to think of a different way to do this. So I decided to look elsewhere, um, to more exotic places with sandy beaches, action, adventure, the sun. What was that movie? What was that movie? What was that movie? Hotel Rwanda. <laughs> so, but you know, they say like, you're only as happy as you allow yourself to be. Um, and you should manifest your happiness. You get what you put out into the world. That's bullshit. Are you telling me that on the Syrian refugees uh, vision board is capsizing boats? I don't think so. Mm -mm. Nope. So, I had wanted to be a ballerina, and as most girls do, um, I took it for 10 years until my teacher just told me no. She said, no, why don't you go try cross country? And I said, okay, and then I went and tried out for the Nutcracker at a real ballet company. Mm -hmm. I didn't make it. Um, <laughs> and it was, it was for a non-dancing part, it was for background. <laughs> Um, <laughs> it's a true story. Um, afterwards, to cheer me up, my mom was like, I, would I bring you for a happy meal? Pedestrian. I said to her, sure, we can do that, but I refuse to be happy. So I got home, I popped on the killing fields, and I ate my chicken nuggets. <laughs> so... <laughs> I may not have been good at ballet, but I do have one true talent, and it's getting fired. It's true. I have been fired six times, I think, in the past 10 years. Um, <laughs> badge of honor. Um, I have been fired from three assistant jobs because getting lunch is hard. Um, I have been fired from restaurants from telling a senator he was not on the reservation list and needed to wait. Um, I've been fired from walking a dog, singular, just one dog. Um, but I think, I think my crowning achievement was getting fired from an unpaid internship. They weren't even losing anything on me. So, yeah. Well, the other day I was coming home from walking my dog and um, there was a lot going on in my apartment building. There was paramedics, it was crazy. I get up to the, to the fourth floor, which is my floor, and they're rolling a body out of the apartment right next to mine. And it turns out the dude offed himself. Yeah, I know, it's bad. And it got me thinking about a lot of really important questions in life. Like, what am I doing? 
And what if a 3D printer printed a 3D printer that printed a 3D printer that printed a 3D printer? <laughs> and it just never stopped. There'd be a lot of printers. Um, so, <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> um, but that's my time. Um, <laughs> And I just want to say, when I die, um, I want them to put on my gravestone, I tried. Um, but I want it to literally say my recorded voice as people walk by. I tried. <laughs> <laughs>